I'm Sean Nichols with Battleborn Batteries, and today we're here with our friend Rick Harrison, who is an off-grid power expert. Most of you might not know this, but he lives completely off the grid here in Oregon. And we're going to do a little overview of his power system today, and also check out his pretty cool property here that he's got in the woods in Oregon. It's an amazing place. Yeah, I mean, um, I started dealing with you guys like a couple years ago because I got sick and tired of uh, lead acid batteries. Uh, I'm not here all the time. You know, I live between here and Vegas and I'd leave the place for a couple weeks and then come back and because I don't know what it is with lead acid batteries. It's the most, okay, basically you throw dice, okay, and okay, and that will tell you which, which battery got low because it makes no sense. I mean, like, you'll have a battery that the like, you know, water level hasn't gone down in a year and then in a week it goes down that much, um, but I wasn't here all the time and then I'd show up, one or two of the batteries would get low, and next thing you know, I might, uh, after three years, basically all my batteries are junk, and they literally only held like 30% of the power, and I wasn't going to spend a fortune on lead-acid batteries again. And not only that, I mean, I ain't got the world's greatest back, and it's really difficult to lift those things. But, uh, <laughs> so no, so like a few years ago, I met you guys, and I uh, got my first bank of Battleborn batteries, and then I built my workshop, and then I got more Battleborn batteries, and now I'm... Uh, Got a bunch of other projects going on, so I need more batteries, and I got bigger inverters from you guys. And um, and what I love about it, it's just, there's, there's never a problem, okay? And that's, um, you know, I'm not here all the time, and when I'm up here, I just want to do my thing. I don't want to fix stupid stuff. So after you got your first bank of Battleborn batteries, did you notice immediately a difference in terms of the performance or your level of worry about them? Oh, no, no, the amazing thing was, is like, um, before when I had the lead acid batteries, especially when they were going bad, um, you know, we have the main house, we have a guest house, and I also have a caretaker's house where my guy lives. I had guest over, guaranteed, right around midnight, the generator would fire on, okay? What happened was, is then it turned into, have to wake up in the middle of the night and go turn the, turn the generator on, and with, with the Battleborn batteries is they get a full charge. I mean, because when I have guests here, it's during the summer, I got plenty of sun for the solar, I have my turbines running, um, you can, I never have to turn on the generator. Um, no battery anxiety, uh, it sounds like. Yeah, no Batter, battery, battery anxiety, anxiety. That's, that's, a great, that's a great term. Um, last time I had to turn on the generator was a couple months ago when my son was here with all their friends and they don't understand the whole idea of turning off anything. <laughs> <laughs> like don't, uh, down at the hydro plant, I have 20 Battleborn batteries. Right. And when the sun goes down, I got more than enough power all night long. I got the hydros make a little bit of power, but it's never enough at night. Right. And, but I never have to turn on the generator. And the other thing is, check on it once a week and everything's fine. Just so there's a lot less maintenance. So along with the anxiety comes a lot of maintenance, so it's a lot of extra work, right? When you're dealing oh, with your guys' batteries. batteries, there is no maintenance. Right. I mean, I mean it's the, you know, actually is maintenance free compared to like other batteries that are sort of maintenance free. <laughs> so how much solar and wind do you have? How much electricity do you make? Okay, um, I'm currently upgrading the shop right here. So um, on a sunny day, that should generate four kilowatts. Um, and I have my hydro plant, which makes right at 1700 watts, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And, uh, but that, that powers three houses, uh, my well, uh, the two garages down there, um, and that's all with just with 20 batteries. I never have, to, like I said, rarely. Once every couple months, I have to maybe turn on the generator, but that's because of uh, just a ton of people here and something like that. But it's just compared to like lead acid batteries, because last time I had lead acid batteries, I think they were eight thousand dollars. They lasted three three years, and if you capitalize that. Um, over a period of time, um, it just makes the world a difference. Plus, you know, there's so much, there, there, you know, you wouldn't think there was a lot of maintenance with batteries, but there's a lot of maintenance with batteries. Lead yeah. acid batteries. Lead, with lead acid batteries, there's just, you know, well, you gotta equalize them every month. Right. Okay, uh, which is just a pain in the ass um, because uh, if you have solar and everything else, that means turning on a generator right. all day long. Um, and uh, when you equalize them, that you're really pumping up the, the voltage, makes the batteries warm, so you have to go, you know, constantly, that whole day, you gotta check, make sure your water's right. Are they not, are they not overheating? And, 
But with these things, they have a battery management system in it, which means if they get hot, they shut themselves down. They, uh, yeah, I mean, it basically monitors all the conditions on the battery. The battery management yeah. system makes it so you don't have to think about it, which for me, like when I, when I look at this place you got here, which is a, an amazing place. I mean, all the outbuildings are all powered off renewable energy. The fact is that when you come up here, you want to relax, right? This is like your yeah. oasis. So you don't want to be thinking about battery power when you're here. You want to you're running a sawmill now too, which is really amazing. And you're making your own lumber. Like it blows my mind. Some of the things you pull off here, you got your own fire truck, a lot of other things that you can do around here aside from yeah. with dealing with lead acid batteries. Okay. Yeah. Cause I own a lot of businesses and like, uh, so I plan on coming up here for a month and I'm get five days in and then, you know, if something happens, I got to go back to Vegas or fly somewhere in the world. Um, I just don't want to spend my time while I'm up here dealing with the power system. Cause so many people that are off the grid, I mean, that's, part of their day is dealing with their power system. Right. This is just zero maintenance, it works, and um, I can do all my other stuff. We always like to say lead is dead. Lead is dead. Lead is dead. No, I mean, it's a terrible, I mean, it's a technology that was like from the 1800s. Yeah, I, I don't, th I think what a lot of people don't get with lead acid is when you're trying to live off the grid and you got a lot of renewable like solar and wind, it doesn't, it's not very efficient at taking that electricity. Whereas these batteries, the Battleborn batteries, can actually charge at full capacity constantly. They'll take the well, full current. Because they have less resistance in the battery. So it's, it just flow, power flows into it easily mm -hmm. and out of it easily. So you get, the, you get the amount of power that you actually collect, which is very important when you're using renewable energy. Because not everyone has all the sources of renewable. Like you have wind, solar, micro hydro. I mean, you've got a lot of different systems here that most people just have solar. And if they're only running six hours a day, they got to collect as much power as possible. They don't realize as that when you, possible, you need to have the right yeah. reservoir to hold that power, which is why the lithium batteries yeah, are so much more beneficial. Yeah. yeah, and the other thing is, like, I mean, I know you guys advertise these as 100 amp, batter, 100 amp hour batteries. Mm -hmm. And lead acid batteries, they might say 100 amp hours, but that's a formula they came up with like 100 years ago, mm -hmm. okay, which is sort of a BS. That's if you, you get 100 amp hours if you discharge the battery at this rate for this amount of time. And if you do it all exactly like that, it'll sort of do that. But if you don't do that, it's way less. But if you try to get the full 100 amp hours out of a lead acid battery that they claim, you've damaged the battery You'll just by it. doing that. Yeah. <laughs> so they tell, you, they tell you you could use 50%, but in actuality, some of the testing that we've done over the years shows more like around 20 to 30%, usually on a, a, you know, any kind of a reasonable size load. I mean, you might be able to get 50% of the power out of the battery if you're pulling like 10 amps. You know, like running like a TV or something like that. Right. But in an operation like this, like you're running a full workshop or a home, you're never going to get that unless you overbuild your battery bank, which we talked about earlier. It'd be like you have 10,000 pounds of battery right here in the corner, which you might have to reinforce the foundation. Yeah. I don't know. No, no, I mean, it's just, a, it's just you guys came up with something that's, it's just a world of difference. It just really, really is. It's, it's, reli it's, it's re reliable. I can have no sun for days and I still have power up here. Right. Yeah. That's because you're because you're storing the power more effectively effectively than you were with the lead acid batteries. I think that's one of the one of the amazing things that Dennis and I get to do is get out and see what people are doing with our batteries. And uh, you know this place in particular, just based on the amount of energy you're using, the way you have it set up, is a is a pretty slick system. This is definitely a unique application. I mean, you're powering a whole machine shop. First yeah. of all, you know that's unique. Um, and I think that using Battleborn batteries, lithium ion batteries, facilitates that. But even for folks doing, you know, just a couple in their RV or their van or something, they see a huge difference just in that application, just in living off the batteries, you know. We perform better. We got a 10-year warranty. We're designed and assembled in Reno, Nevada, and we deliver all the power that's in our box. As a matter of fact, we don't sell a battery. It's a 100 amp hour battery. It's below 100 amp hours. Most of them these days are around 104 to 108 amp hours. Yeah, no, it's uh, like you know, lead acid batteries. They start to, I mean, um, you go to the store and buy one, it's already partially degraded. It's like a new car, right? As soon as you drive it off the lot, it just loses a little bit of power. <laughs> no, it, it, no, I mean, no, it's it just, I, I, okay, like I said, I, I, I just want to, uh, it makes my life simpler. Well, I got a really, really complicated life, okay, but a little bit, a little bit of extra simple is a lot. You, your life is very complicated. I'm glad you get to enjoy the batteries, and it's been a real pleasure for us to be able to work with yeah. you, man. Like, we really appreciate it. And I, I'm glad you get to in, in, uh, enjoy this place here. You put a lot of work in here, but we just, we're uh, grateful that you let us come and check it out, too. I mean, it's, a, uh, it's an yeah. amazing place. Well, thanks, for, thanks for being nerds, guys. You guys make great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be a nerd. I've always wanted to be a nerd my whole life. <laughs>